Hey golf fans, this is Early1981 and welcome back to Next Gen PGA Tour 2K21 live here on the channel. Today we are going to be checking out Stinky Fish's Poseidon's Playground. This is a course I've got no information about whatsoever. I can only imagine it's an extreme fantasy course. I'm sure we will find out. So as always, we are going to be leaving everything at default. Fairways are firm, greens are firm, green speed is fast. Time of day is noon. We do have five t options wow and we are going to be playing from the very lengthy black tees which are playing 7,936 yards and as always pin set number one now to my knowledge poseidon was one of the, the 12 olympians in ancient greek religion and myth i think he was god of the sea earthquakes and horses but look at this for an opening hole wind absolutely battering the trees and the bushes really cool looking opening hole actually Certainly going to be a a fantasy course. With that wind, we are setting this way down the right-hand side. And that is a fantastic opening tee shot. Made along that, continue. And we are going to be finding the centre of the fairway. Okay. So that is going to leave us 158 yards. We've got a 12 mile per hour wind. So 142, 8 iron should just be about perfect here with these firm conditions. Setting us down the right hand side of the green and hopefully that wind blows us back towards it. It's another good strike. Should get a good run out but that is going to come up way short I do believe. Why that wind really did hold me up yardage wise as well. And it's going to leave us an uphill putt. It's actually downhill. 34 feet. Green speeds are 173. This is going to turn from right to left. Let's see if we can... Get this one closer, go one even better by dropping it into the hole. It's got a chance, it should turn. It's going to turn too much and we are just going to breeze past the left-hand side of the cup. But we do have a tap-in putt for a part. So, decent start. Like I say, no information regarding this course as well. It is always a bit of a gamble when you start recording on a course you've got no information about. But so far, so good. Oh, there is a landing zone over here to the right-hand side. Let's check it out. Wind's really died down here. I think this is going to be our better option. Certainly a course that you look as if you've got to execute plenty of perfects here. We've done that. There's the, the common theme, 98%. But we are in the fairway. And I've got a feeling this is going to be a very, very tough course. Very cool layout. First two holes though. So just going full backspin on this 8 iron. That wind should bring us back. It's another perfect, but I am developed a, a pull left with my swing line for some reason. And that should be really good. That's trickling its way up towards the pin. And we do have a really good look at birdie here from nine feet out. Not a lot of movement in this one. Just about a cup and a half left off the hole. It should turn. Oh, it just about grabbed the edge and dropped into the... The hole for our first birdie of the round and we do move to one under par. Hole number three. Oh, wow, look at this. Lots of shapes and symbols going on here. I've got no idea if it's related to, to Greek mythology or anything like that. That is an absolute laser beam. And for someone who's been moaning about his swing tempo the last video... This is too good to be true. But it's going to leave us a long approach shot into this tight green. Five iron should just be about perfect. Just deal off the this, keep it low. And hopefully we do get a favourable kick from the fairway up onto the green. Good strike once again. It should be a good kick here. The green certainly turns right. Hasn't got the legs to get up there can stop any time now and what a fantastic golf shot that is if you haven't already done so guys please hit the like button and also if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button it's 100 percent free all i do upload is pga tour 2k 21 content look at that lovely water feature there i've never seen anything like that in the game yet wow that is so cool. I have never seen a water fountain like that in the game before. So there's a first. I am sure we've covered a, a stinky fish course previously, good while back. 
This is another deadly fairway. Water traps left and right. And hazards. Great contact. Nice swing. So far, we are swinging well. I have been in the, the driving range for about 20 minutes prior to this round. And second shot it's another fairway in regulation. We've got a 10 mile per hour crosswind. 7 iron. Full backspin here. Just try to land the short of the pin. And hopefully getting it sitting down. Not with that slow though. That could be waterbound. Need a kick here. No. Didn't track as far right as I expected. But we do miss the fairway. Uh, the fairway. We do miss the green. And that is going to leave us a chip shot from 8 yards out. Certainly makeable here. If we can get it on a good path. No, huge red slope, and with that we're going to miss on the right-hand side. But we do tap in the part. It's such a creative course, and I am really on the hunt for good fantasy courses, guys, to showcase to the community. I've really got a bug for the fantasy courses at the moment. It's another tight fairway, short, short hole this one, no. Pulled it left, but we do get the perfect... Which is so, so important in this game, especially on the, the master difficulty settings. And that should leave us nothing more than a wedge into this fifth green. 83 yards, 7 mile per hour crosswind. Lob wedge is made for this. Just an extra little bit of backspin here. I expect this to go long. Let's see if we can spin it back. It's a slight fast, so it is going to be a little bit long and left. But there is a backstop. Should spin. Come on, spin. We did generate the spin and it is starting to trickle its way down towards the the cup five so five foot putt these putts are certainly missable if you don't give them the, the attention they deserve but we've done that and we do pick up another birdie and we move to three under par so going along very very nicely so far but wow very little room for error off these tee boxes here just try to find the the gap, oh no, not with that red fast. I was trying to find the gap between the two bunkers there, but tell you what, on another day we maybe carry that bunker and that is in the drink. A lot of work to do here. 222 yards out. I think we can chase this five wood up to the front of the green if we do get a firm kick. Slight fast may help the cause. Is it going to run up onto the green though? Look how firm the conditions are. That ball is really travelling. Just coming up short. 35 yards short. Splash shot. Just going to go with the gap wedge and just deal off this a few touches. Get that extra run out. Let's see if we can get up and down for the par save. Great execution. Should run out well. Came up a little bit short. But once again, only executing 94% power. This is a missable par putt from 14 feet. Is going to turn from right to left. It's on a good line. And it drops right into the heart of the cup. And that is a great par save. After that terrible tee shot. And we are going to remain at three under par. I'm convinced that this is a, a course. Oh my goodness guys. Look at this. Now we could probably come back to three wood here. But I ain't. Not want to shirk a challenge. Slight fast. And there we go. Maybe that is why you should shirk challenges. Why? Fortunately, it's gave us a drop and we don't have to retake the drive. Huge fast on that one. Didn't allow the wind a chance to, to bring us back. So just chasing driver up the deck here. But really intrigued by the, the shapes and symbols that he has going on here. Like I say, I've got no idea if it's related to Greek mythology. Poseidon is the only thing that comes to my head. I do believe there was a film called Poseidon, I think. I've never seen it. No, no idea what it's about. Hopefully this splash shot checks up. It grudgingly does, and this could be a huge par save after finding the water off the tee. Certainly a missable putt. It does turn for us, though, and we are scrambling well. We're still going to remain at three under par. This really is a tough course. 
So many things that could go wrong on each and every single hole. Seven iron, setting us down, left hand side of the green, wind should bring us back, there we go. Couldn't have hit that any better. Come on, this should sit, this should hold. It's going to trickle a little bit past the pin, but we do have a, but a 10 foot putt, 12 feet putt for another birdie. This would really give us a little bit of room for error to finish under par here. Should hold, should hold. Oh, and it drops into the the side of the cup for our fourth birdie. And we find ourselves four under par as we do come down the final hole of the front nine. Oh, wow. So many options here, but I think we're going to have to try and... <sighs> Let's go down the right-hand side. A little bit of um, draw just to counteract that wind, and hopefully we can hold this right-hand side of the fairway. Couldn't have hit it any better other than getting 100%. I do find when I try to get that 100%, which you've got to put a slight delay at the top of your, your backswing, it really affects my, my swing timing. But this is a monster par four. Five wood should comfortably reach the green with a good favourable kick from the fairway. Tell you what, I maybe just deal off to that a little bit too much, but it's not going to get there. That was dicing with trouble there. Try to manipulate that shot just a bit too much on another day. That could have found a drink, but let's see if we can splash this close. It's got a chance of going in, you know. It does go in. What a fantastic splash shot that is. And we do pick up the birdie and we move to five under par. I've got a feeling we're having a really good round here. Because this is such a tough course. Like I say, every hole has so many opportunities where you could go so wrong for you. But five under par through the front nine. I'm going to take that every day of the week. Especially in these wind conditions, hole number 10. But look at this. This has got to be symbolism, guys. I really hope we can reach out to the, the designer here. I did try to message him. This course has been designed on the PlayStation. But the settings won't allow me to, to message him. So just aiming for the edge of the, the water here. And hopefully that 9 mile per hour wind takes us right. Not with that fast. That's right in the center of the water here. Oh, early. So we are going to be looking at our first bogey here. 198 yards out. Four irons absolutely made for this. Try to run this up towards the hole. There's a perfect. If only I could have done that off the tee. This is tracking well. We should get a good kind bounce here. And this should start turning towards the pin. It is. And I'll tell you something. If we could rescue another par here, that would be something special. Our scrambling... The last few rounds has been nothing short of miraculous. But we've had to due to our, our swing timing. Not a lot in this. Just got to get the weight right here. We have. It's turned beautifully and we do somehow manage to stay bogey free and remain at five under par. But this is such a fun course, guys. This is going to offer all levels of players a real challenge. Par 364 yards, 7 mile per hour wind. I'm just going to deal loft and apply a good bit of backspin to this 6 iron. Couldn't have hit it any better. Wind is turning that beautifully. It should sit with the amount of backspin I've applied here. Grudgingly slowing up. It's going to be about a 15 foot putt for birdie. 12 feet. Despite the the tough conditions here and some of these brutal pin locations, we are getting dialed in. That needs to turn. Oh, it does turn. And it's another birdie. Six under par. I'll tell you something. Like I say, some of the times when you're recording these courses, you've got no idea what you're going into. If you told me I would have been six under after the third or fourth hole on hole number 10, eh, hole number 12, I would have took it. Another daunting tee shot here. We get the perfect. It needs to turn. Nice bit of fade there. And hopefully we get a nice kick, which we do. And that should be nothing more than a, a wedge. 
into this 12 green. 99 yards. Sam Wedge is made for this. Just going to apply a good bit of backspin once again. 9 mile per hour wind's really going to whip us from the left to the right. Oh, early. There's a red fast. Rush that. And that is going to stay left. Should be pin high, though. That's a safe shot. Okay. But really finding my swing timing. So erratic at the moment. This is one of the, the better rounds it's been. Certainly more consistent here. But it's had to be. Don't think that's going to turn enough. No. Good attempt, though. So we are going to pick up a solid part. Should have got birdie there, though. Should have given myself a better birdie opportunity. After that really good tee shot. And we are on hole number 13 already. We are motoring through this. Wow. I'm just going to try and find a little bit of D-loft. So we don't run out of the, the fairway here. With that 11 mile per hour wind. There's a fast. It's probably going to be bunker. Or in the water. No, it is bunker. Very fortunate there. Because that could have missed the bunker. And dropped straight into the water. But we are in a bit of blotter here. Oh, wow. I think we can just about come out of here with a 7 iron and carry that water. With that wind behind us. Oh, early. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? We have had a disaster here on this par 5. Let's just see if we can float this hybrid in. Get it close. Try to fade this into the green. Slight fast, but it is still turning. I actually don't think that's going to hold the green. That looks like it's going to slope off. It has held the green, so we've got a monster putt just to save par here. 56 feet. We couldn't, could we? I am so desperate to avoid a bogey this round. Maybe in this course it's going to be unavoidable. The weight's good. That should turn back. We haven't, have we? We haven't, have we? I'll tell you something, guys. What a putt that is from downtown. 56 feet for the par save. You couldn't write it. That was a phenomenal putt. And we are really doing our best to avoid bogey in this course today. But this is such a fun course, guys. Like I say, I'm on the, the hunt for more fantasy courses so if you do know of any good fantasy courses that I've not yet covered please leave a recommendation in the comment section just a pity I've got no information in this course very tight fairway here once again setting this drive down the right we get the perfect and that is going to leave us a long approach shot so little room for error in this course especially from tee to fairway but I would really like to know more about the course. I'm not sure what these little symbols mean. If they mean anything. But the name just caught my, my attention. A lot of you guys were asking me. How do I select my courses? One. Social media. Twitter. Um, Reddit. Um, all the usual, usual places. Two. I do my research. And three. Course recommendations from you. Fantastic people. Really good approach shot there. 25 feet. This one is going to turn fairly aggressively from left to right. We've already drained a 56 foot putt on the previous hole. This is tracking nice. I don't think I've hit it firm enough though. Oh, you are kidding me. That was going to be right into the, the heart of the cup for another birdie. But we'll, we'll take second best prize there, which is a solid part. And we move on to the 15th hole. Oh my goodness. No, I ain't laying back. There's no even safe areas for for laying up. Let's see if we can just carry this. Need to get 100% here. This may put a slight fast onto it. It didn't. We got the 100% power. And that should comfortably carry that water hazard it has done. But so impressed by the layout of this course. Once again, the, the creativity levels are off the chart. They really, really are. Four hybrid, a little bit of deal off just to keep it below the wind. Should be absolutely perfect here. It's a course due to the conditions. You're going to have to play Lynx Golf. Slight slow. Shouldn't affect me too much, but does it have the legs to kick on now? 
Go on, run, 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 run. No, couldn't chase it on. If we did get the perfect, that was definitely going to reach the green and leave us a putt. Let's see if we can chip this one close. Just deal off the this to get some extra run out here. Would love to chip in here for the birdie. Not with that slow though, that is going to take it offline to the right. And we were a little bit short. Not by much though. But simplest to tap ins for the part. And we do the main at six under part. But this is definitely a course if you are a, a fantasy course fan like me. You certainly don't want to miss it. It's courses like this that can so easily slip under the radar. Wow. I'm going to go down the right hand side here and just hope that we get the perfect and this wind does turn us. Great swing. I couldn't have hit that any better. Yes, we're getting a lot of 96, 97, 98% power swings, but I'm just letting that go. It's not causing me any issue off the tee. And we've left ourselves a good look of getting this one close from 146 yards out. Just going a little touch of backspin here. That is such a tough pin to get near. That green is really defending it well. Slope, our feet should move us right. Wind should comfortably bring us back. Oh, not with a slow though. Not with a slow. That's coming up way short now. It may even kick off the green. No, nope, holds the green, but it's going to be a nasty putt over that swale that is defending the pin. Disappointed with that one. Look at this. This is a nasty putt uphill. Extreme break from left to right on this. This is just a lag putt. Just try to get this as close as humanly possible. Not hit it. it. Didn't. Oh, I did hit it actually. Just didn't allow enough for the break. But it's another solid part. Still avoiding a bogey with two holes to play here. But this is such a tough course. Really, really happy with my round just now. This is a drivable par four though. Wind really helping me out here. It's allowing us to go down the left hand side. Swinging so, so well. Has it got the legs to, to kick on? I don't think it does, actually. Gee, that's going to come up a little bit short. At the very least, we should be walking away with birdie. We are going to splash this one. We've already hold a, a splash shot out. Let's see if we can do the same here with this lob wedge. We can really attack this one. Go on, go on. Oh, just bounces over it. It's another horrible swing line. I've really developed a pull left with this controller. But we do pick up the birdie and we move to seven under par as we make our way onto the 18th hole, the final hole if this really well put together fantasy course. Like I say, the creativity and the layout of this course is just off the charts. It's just a pity I don't have more information on it. I love the misty look as well. It just really suits the course and we have nailed that tee shot. 295 yards down the fairway. Let's see if we can get this one close. Four iron with that nine mile per hour wind holding us up. Should just be about bang on, you know. Oh, it's a slow. Not a huge slow though, but it may come up short right now. Oh, it's really came up short right. Just about made its way onto the fringe. Let's see if we can chip this in from the light rough. Really enjoyed my time out here at Poseidon's Playground. Certainly, of course, you guys want to go out and have a go at. It's really going to test all level ability of players. That was a pure execution. Huge slow there. But we should tap that in for par, which we do. And we are going to finish at 7 under par. That is a 65. Really good round there. I really, really enjoyed that one. Let me know how you guys get on. Go out there and play it. But if you are new to the channel, guys, please hit the subscribe button. If you did enjoy this video, leave a like and a comment. And until the next video, take care, peace out, and love you all. Bye.